the need for clean and sustainable power generation to meet the world's electric power demand is increasing, and the market for wind and solar generation is rapidly growing. Today, wind and solar power generation is a very small portion of total power consumption, and thus the electrical grid can absorb it without much problem. Wind and solar power cannot grow to become a major supplier of power generation unless a practical, cost-effective grid-scale method of storing electrical energy is implemented. To effectively use the intermittent power of wind and solar, a new electric power storage system has been created by the inventors of superconducting maglev transport to practically and efficiently match electric power demand with intermittent renewable power generators. The power outputs from wind and solar facilities are inherently highly variable, both in time and magnitude. On average, wind farms only operate at 20 to 30 percent of capacity. That is, a wind farm with a quoted output of 100 megawatts can only deliver a time average of 20 to 30 megawatts because the wind does not blow all the time. Moreover, it may well blow at night when its power is not really needed. Similarly, solar farms generate most of their power in the middle of the day when power demand is less than earlier and later in the day. The scenes that follow illustrate how the maglev power storage or MAPS system operates. MAPS would take the extra power from a wind or solar farm and store it to meet peak demand when required. In the energy storage mode, the MAPS vehicles move upward on the left-hand guideway and transport the concrete blocks from the lower storage yard to an upper storage yard, where they quickly roll off the vehicles to a designated spot in the yard. The unloaded vehicles then travel down the right-hand guideway to the lower storage yard, where they pick up the next block to be transported to the upper yard. Depending upon the elevation change of the terrain, the inclination angle of the MAPS guideway, and operating speed, a MAPS vehicle will typically make 10 to 20 round trips per hour at speeds in the range of 60 to 140 miles per hour. During both the energy storage, or motor mode, and the energy delivery, or generator mode, the number of MAPS vehicles on the guideway and their speed are controlled so that the power input-output to the facility would always be continuous and match the needs of the electrical grid and power sources that are connected to the MAPS facility. The inverter-slash-rectifier electronic systems in the facility would ensure that the input and output power, cycle frequencies and phases are properly matched. MAPS facilities can be designed to meet a wide range of power and energy storage needs and are flexible and responsive in input and output power requirements. For high power applications, a practical MAPS facility can be designed to handle input-output power of 1,000 megawatts or more with energy storage capacities of 10,000 megawatts. For lower power storage applications, practical MAPS facilities can be designed to handle 50 megawatts or so with energy storage capacitors on the order of 100 megawatt hours. Learn more about the exciting energy storage capability by visiting www.readinessresource.net slash ets.html.